This adult man justified raping a young child by suggesting that the young child had a crush on him. I first saw this case posted by Arkansas Justice Project on Facebook. I highly suggest that you check them out, but I wanted to share it because I feel like it just points to the importance of taking these SA cases seriously and what happens when we don't take them seriously. So it's important to note that this case has been sealed and that very little information is available in this case because of the type of case that it was even to begin with. So I'm just going off of information that the Arkansas Justice Project was able to share. So these are excerpts from the child victim interview. Since the summer of 2017, when the incidents were alleged to have occurred, the victim has been exhibiting signs of behavior common with young victims of SA. Mom states that the victim has become distant, angry, and defiant. After being notified, the victim's mom sat down with her and began to inquire as to where she learned such behavior because the iPad had already been searched and there was no porn on it. It was found that a past babysitter, who we'll call Jay, was watching the victim one night when Jay left to go to the store and left the victim with an 18 year old by the name of Brady Castle, Jay's boyfriend. When the victim was sitting on one side of the couch and Brady was sitting on the other, Brady got up, walked over and sat by the victim. The victim indicated that Brady put his hands down her pants and touched her vagina, which is what she called vagina. The victim stated that more happened than just Brady touching her vagina. The victim stated that she kissed Brady's wiki. Wiki is how the victim refers to penis. The victim's mom then asked if anything else happened and the victim indicated that she performed a sex act on the subject. Mom then asked if anything else happened and the victim indicated that the suspect raped the victim. It actually says that the victim indicated that the suspect put his wiki into her. Now, this is from the interview and polygraph of Brady Castle. It says Castle was adamant that he did not do the things that were alleged against him. However, he did make some statements that were counter to what he was intending to say. Castle said that he didn't do what's in there, referring to the allegations made in the statement. Castle then stated that he could have potentially touched her vagina while moving her off of him. This was odd to me because Castle initially insinuated that he had no physical contact with the victim. Near the conclusion of the interview, Castle stated that he had been advised that the little girl was very flirtatious and that the victim had told Jay, who's the babysitter and Brady's girlfriend, that Castle was her boyfriend and that she loved him. This is extremely odd because by all accounts, Castle was not well liked by children. It then goes on to say that Castle came to the Wynn Police Department because he wanted to take a polygraph test. A polygraph was administered by uh, Special Agent Billy Ely with the Arkansas State Police. The test showed that Castle was being deceptive when asked if he had a sexual contact with the victim. Special Agent Ely continued to question Mr. Castle, but Castle denied doing anything. I then had Mr. Castle step into the next room while Special Agent Ely was packing his equipment. Brady was advised that Miranda still applied and he advised that he understood that he didn't have to talk to me if he didn't want to. I then began to question Castle as to why he was being deceptive with Special Agent Ely. Castle was adamant at first that he didn't touch the victim in any sexual manner. Castle eventually began to confess that he did touch the victim's breast, but that he didn't touch anywhere else. Castle then stated that he touched her breast and vagina, but that he didn't put anything inside the victim's vagina. Castle stated that he knew it was wrong and stopped almost immediately. Castle then wrote a letter of apology for, as he states, touching you inappropriately, which is a quote. Castle states numerous times throughout the letter that he wishes it would never have happened. A video is available in the case file. Brady Castle was then taken to the Cross County Jail and charged with grape and given a court date for his first appearance on Thursday, let's see, January 17th, 2019. It goes on to say in the video interview mentioned above, Castle can be heard stating, 
Well, I knew she had a crush on me, so I thought she wanted it, so I took it further. Now, it's important to note that this victim was five years old. Five. You can tell by her drawings that she is a very young child. Brady Castle was 20 years old when he was charged with rape in 2019. Now, Brady Castle accepted a plea deal, but you won't see his name on any sex offender registry. And there's a reason for that. You won't see Brady Castle's name on any sex offender registry because Brady Castle was allowed to plead guilty to second degree battery. And for second degree battery, that's not a sexual offense. He doesn't have to register as a sex offender ever. This man full on graped a five-year-old child, but he will never be seen on a registry. In fact, he never even went to prison. He served a 12 month sentence in local jail. He was allowed to serve jail time on the weekends. He didn't even have to actually go to jail for a full straight year. It was just weekend jail. And then he has five years of probation to do, and then he's done. He's done forever. I mean, I would like to know if the prosecutor and the judge in Cross County were thinking about this five-year-old and how her innocence was forever taken by Brady Castle because he thought she had a crush on him. So he'd take it further whenever they allowed him to take this plea deal. Did they consider the victim at all in this case and how her life was forever changed? But Brady Castle was allowed to do things like weekend jail and really not having his life inhibited at all after what he did to her. It's just unbelievable and vile to me that this would even happen. What is your opinion on this case and especially this sentence?